Welcome back to another episode of WordPress Tutorials with Pixel Web. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over the process of optimizing your database for your WordPress powered website. There are two ways to go about it. Uh, one is the manual way through PHP My Admin, which you can access through your control panel on your hosting account. And the other way is with a plugin through your WordPress dashboard. Um, now, why would you want to optimize your database? A uh, quick reason is because you might have revisions in your database of articles, posts, blogs, uh, pages, things of that nature that are taking up space. And you know you want to uh, clean them out so that way you have a more efficient uh, database. So let's go over the process. If you want to do it through phpMyAdmin, you could just log into your control panel, head, head over to the database section, and then look for PHP My Admin and click on that. You'll want to make sure you're in the right database. Um, you would see the title of it right here, and um, on a local installation. So um, that's why mine says localhost here. So once you're there, these are the tables that you'll be presented with. You might have more if you have plugins that add tables uh, to your database. This is a, a fresh installation, so you know we have. Um, some only the default tables. Uh, so if you want to optimize all your tables, you can click on check all, and then where it says with selected, you can optimize the tables. It'll run through the process, and you'll see the results. It'll show you that everything was okay. All right. So then if you want to repair the tables, You would just check all again, obviously, and then you click on repair tables, and it'll, it'll repair your tables. Uh, you'll want to do this if your database gets corrupted, which doesn't typically happen. I haven't had that happen before, but you know it's a nice nice to know that you can do that from PHP My Admin. This is the manual way to do it. Um, it's a little bit more technical, obviously, but not that much. You just have to log into your hosting account, go to your control panel, go to the database section, and then Look for PHP My Admin. If you want to streamline the process and do it from your WordPress dashboard, there's a plugin for that. All you have to do is log into your dashboard, and then where it says plugins, you can either click on where it says plugins, you can click add new, and it'll bring you to this add new page. You'll just type in the name of the plugin. In this case, we're using WP Space Optimize. And WP Optimize is the database optimizer plugin that I recommend. It is very popular, has 327 reviews, five stars, and it's actively installed on 400,000 plus uh, WordPress powered websites. So that shows you the popularity of it. You can see more details about it, and you'll get a brief overview of the plugin itself, some of the neat features, as you can see, it highlights the fact that you don't have to log into phpMyAdmin. You know, maybe that's not something you want to do. Maybe, you know, it's too technical or it just takes too much time to do that consistently. And we know that time is money. You want to be productive. So the more we could do in the dashboard of your website, the better. This goes over some of the major features of the plugin itself, what it does. You can enable or disable trackbacks for all published posts. Uh, same thing for comments, um, some of the things that it removes, and the cleaning up of auto draft posts, uh, removes the transients, which are, uh, it's a feature of WordPress with caching stuff internally. Um, I'll go over transients in more detail in another episode. Uh, but these are some of the features that it goes over. It even tells you, you know, what to be careful for. You know, it tells you if something is marked red, that you might want to be careful with that. Um, I have not had any problems whatsoever uh, with this plugin, and I've been using it for years on all the websites that I manage and that I own. Um, this tells you how it can help. Again, it shows you the tells you the example. If you have a lot of post revisions on your website and you have a lot of posts, and you know that adds up. So by removing it, you effectively reduce the size of your database. Uh, you clean up the wasted space, and you just make it 
more optimized. Um, it tells you some more information on the bottom. These are some of the languages that uh, it supports. And then if you want to look at how to install it, we're going over that here, but you know, this tells you how you can install it um, either through your WordPress dashboard or if you need to FTP it, how to do so like that. Screenshots, um, change logs. So this tells you what they've changed over time for the plugin. Uh, it's nice to look at that. Tells you some of the facts of the plugin itself which is pretty good to look over. And then the reviews. As you can see, very positive reviews. Um, we're filming this in February 2016. And you can see we have recent reviews from people that say that it just works. It's very easy to use. It's not complicated, um, which means that we'll actually use it. So that's good. So when you're ready to install it, just click on Install Now. It'll go through the process of downloading the package, unpackaging it, installing it, and then you'll get the successfully installed message. Once you get that, you click on Activate Plugin. Uh, once you do that, you'll see it in your plugins page of your dashboard. And then you have a couple of links. You have the optimizer directly, then you have some settings, and you can deactivate it or edit it. Um, so let's go to the settings here. These are the default settings, and you could adjust these to suit your needs. If you want to keep uh, recent information, you can check off uh, this box here and then choose, you know, how often you want to keep, you know, how long you want to keep it for um, or how far in the past you want to keep the information from. Um, so that's good to know. By default, it's not checked. So if you want to check that off, just check it. And then if you want to have a link in your... Um, admin bar on top you just check on the check this and then refresh um, this is if you want to uh, disable or enable trackbacks or comments um, you could just click one of those and then if you want to have auto cleanup settings this is a beta feature but it you know it works um, you just click on this and then you choose the time frame do you want it to auto optimize every week every day every other week every month you know, you can just click on that. And these are some of the default settings here as well. It automatically removes auto revisions. If you don't want to do that, you just uncheck this. Um, it removes the auto drafts, the removes the spam comments, and removes unapproved comments. Now, if you get a lot of comments in your website and you don't get a chance to check them all the time, I wouldn't uh, check this one off because, you know, you don't want to inadvertently delete uh, some of the comments from... Uh, some of your loyal website visitors. So just leave that unchecked. And then again, this is where it says, you know, you got to be careful. It's marked red. Um, again, I haven't had any issues with it. And I've managed, I manage a, a lot of websites with WordPress and I own a lot of websites with WordPress. So, you know, you can check this off if you want. Um, and then this is set by default and e enable email notification. That is not my email address. So, you know, don't email me to there. Um, if you make any changes, just uh, click on this right here, and then it'll save the changes. Now, if you're ready to optimize your database from the dashboard, just click on WP Optimize link here on the sidebar, and then you'll see what it brings up. Um, these are the defaults that it checks. It's by default, it's uh, clean all post revisions, clean all auto draft posts and posts and trash. I've moved spam comments and comments and trash and unimproved. You can uncheck this and check it, whatever you want to do. As you see, we have transients. And again, that's a feature of WordPress with, you know, internal caching stuff. But I'll go over that in more detail later. It's safe to, you know, to check this off to remove that. Um, so you can do that if you want. Before we optimize it, I want to just show you the size of the database currently. So here we see we have 2.1 megabytes is the size of the database. It's good to see that uh, inside the dashboard. We see the tables that we have. We see the records, um, the size, you know, things of that nature. Uh, you know, this is the total overall size of the database. So let's just go back. We're going to check this off. And then when you're ready to process it, just click on process. And it'll go through its uh, procedures there. And then it won't, it'll show you what it was able to do. So now let's go back to the tables and see what the size is now. 
as you see, it brought it down to 688 kilobytes, significantly lower than the 2.1 megabytes it previously was. Um, so that goes to show you that optimizing your database does actually uh, benefit your 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 website. It's going to increase performance. It you know it's like spring cleaning. You know you you get a lot of junk. You you get a lot of clutter inside your house or inside your database in this case, and it slows you down. And that's a user um, usability issue because obviously people users don't want to have to wait for you know your website to be responsive. So. Um, this is a good plugin that helps you to optimize your database. Uh, just as a quick recap, you just go to the plugins link. Want to add new? You add new. Once you add it, you have it here in your dashboard. Uh, you want to optimize? You just click on optimize, and then you can just process it. Um, you know it's important to do this every now and then. I mean, you don't have to do it every day. Uh, it depends how often you. Uh, you know, post articles to your website and how often plugins get updated and, you know, um, any temporary files that may be saved in, uh, temporary things that may be saved into your data database, you know, it might clutter it up. So just run this plugin maybe once a week, once every other week to, um, to make sure that it's nice and clean. Um, so that's pretty much it. WP Optimize, it's a great plugin. 300 plus reviews, five stars, 400,000 active installations, and it is very easy to use. The other option, as we went over in the beginning, is to go to phpMyAdmin, which is more manual, but you know it's good to know that you can do it one of two ways. Um, it's another nice feature that you have. Uh, so hopefully you found this uh, tutorial and episode helpful. If you have any questions, any ideas, any thoughts or comments, please share them below, and we'll. Um, definitely be responding to those and don't forget to subscribe because we're going to go over uh, various ways to manage your WordPress powered website on this channel. Our goal is to post as often as possible. We'll be sending out updates of our newest videos to our Twitter followers and our Facebook friends and you know everyone on Google Plus and LinkedIn, things of that nature. So don't forget to follow uh, us there as well. Um, thanks for watching, and again, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.